10 biggest sea monsters ever. Oh, okay. Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Can we just not start every video with this shit? Can we just not? Can we just not? Every fucking video. <laughs> Zach, do it, please. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not doing it. Nope. 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 You're gonna have to get over it. You guys, nope. Sorry. The open sea. Look in any direction, and the vastness of the deep blue water swallows your vision. Down below, the abysmal depths, home to some of the biggest sea monsters ever. These are the massive sea creatures terrorizing the world beneath the sea surface. Many of these creatures stalking the waters are a little bloodthirsty, but others are downright fierce killing machines. Then we have those that are bizarre looking and absolutely terrifying, the makings of our own imagination. Not all monsters lurking in the depths are creepy and frightening. Some are gentle giants ruling the sea in glorious majesty. So grab your scuba gear and suit up. We're diving right into the belly of the deeply mysterious sea to find the world's biggest sea monsters ever. Also, be sure to stay to the end of the video to find out more about the sea monster that's making the blue whale look like Cuddly Nemo. Number 10. Crabzilla. Cuddly <laughs> Nemo. Number 10. <laughs> Crabzilla. Crabzilla. In 2014, a 15 meter giant crab was intent on making a statement in the UK's popular crabbing location in Whitstable, Kent County. The giant crustacean was seen at the exact spot <laughs> under the harbor where some boys were crabbing. A satellite image of the crab showed a shadowy figure taking the shape of what looked like a colossal crab in the waters somewhere off the English coast. News of the giant crab went viral after it was published in the UK's tabloid newspaper. While several residents claim to have witnessed the unusual crab, aptly named Crabzilla, invertebrate experts from the Natural History Museum London maintained that there was no such thing as a giant crab lurking in the waters of Whitstable. What do you think? Was it it is amazing how, I was gonna say when this started, 10 biggest sea monsters ever. There's so much to work with. You can work with literally any animal to ever live in the sea. There's hundreds of millions of years of crazy shit that has existed. And you started with Crabzilla. Part of some literally just a spider crab. In pranks, or is someone trying to keep a ton of crab all to themselves? <laughs> Number eight. Great white shark. Okay. Being the largest predatory fish, it doesn't come as a surprise that the great white shark has a fierce <laughs> reputation as being a savage killer. Though not as large as the whale shark, the great whites are the most popular types of sharks. They grow as long as seven meters in length and weigh up to two tons. The largest white ever recorded, named Deep Blue, was estimated to weigh a massive 2.5 tons. The great whites are known to be responsible for several unprovoked attacks on humans. Researchers claim that these are just sample bites, but deadly ones nonetheless. Number seven. Not true. Did a whole presentation on shark. it. The whale shark is the largest fish. Biggest in the world. sea monsters ever. The whale shark. Okay. Let's hear it out. Because they have the names whale and shark, it can get a little confusing. But these are sharks. They only resemble the whales in size and feeding habits, hence the ambiguous name. Since they are sharks, we classify them as fish because whales are mammals. The average whale shark will grow up to 10 meters, but they are known to grow up to 14 meters, 46 feet long, and weigh up to 19 metric tons. With these numbers, the whale shark easily dwarfs the great white shark. <laughs> Even so, whale sharks do not get as much attention as their cousins, the great whites, probably because they are not predatory sharks like the rest of the gang. Number six, Loch Ness Monster. Re biggest sea monsters ever. All right. Well, no. Okay. Listen, Loch Ness monster, not real. Plesiosaurs, real thing, actually existed. Okay. So maybe he's going to say, you know, he introduced the Loch Ness monster, but he's probably going to say, oh, no, not actually the Loch Ness monster. You know, there's no way it's actually the Loch Ness monster. He's going to be like, oh, no, it's just plesiosaurs, right? He's not going to actually try and defend that the Loch Ness monster is a real thing that exists now. The fabled Loch Ness monster is often imagined to be a long necked marine reptile. These are aquatic dinosaurs that were known for their crocodile-like bodies and long extended necks. Researchers discovered the 76 million year old fossil of a river dwelling That's a siphonophore, isn't it? But it was far much smaller than the He literally just showed a video species. of a siphonophore. Plesiosaurus could grow up to 50 meters. Am I crazy or is that what it was? This is literally just a siphonophore, right? 
but it was far much smaller. Yeah, it's also not a dinosaur, just to be clear. Smaller than the ocean dwelling species. Plesiosaurus could grow up to 15 meters long. The neck of this aquatic monster was so long it was unable to hold its heads <laughs> above the This looks like a cardboard cutout. There's no depth. It literally looks like someone in paint just drew on black. There's no shadow anywhere. <laughs> There's no depth to the to it whatsoever. <laughs> this is the worst photo I've ever seen. This doesn't even fit the description that he's talking about. He's talking about a plesiosaur, and this has like a snake body. This has fucking camel humps. <laughs> It literally looks like a Paper Mario version. <laughs> the water for too long. Being a slow swimmer, the plesiosaurus stalked its prey from below, sneaking upon schools of fish while its massive body remained hidden in the deep, dark waters. <laughs> Number five. The Great Asp Turtle. Hundreds of years ago, sailors around the world told of the existence of a giant turtle that was so big, you could mistake its shell for an island. <sighs> At least, that's how the ancient mythology of the Aspidoshalon goes. Unsuspecting seamen, decided to make landfall after a long journey at sea, would anchor for a day or two. Unbeknownst to the sailors, the island was actually the shell of a giant crafty monster that was about to submerge and take them to the depths. The mysterious sea monster was claimed also to have a fierce reputation of stirring the waters to come. That's an aquarium turtle, by the way, this patterning. I don't remember the exact species, but this is like a tiny fucking freshwater painted turtle. <laughs> Storms that Eastern painted, okay. and drowned sailors. Even though the great asp turtle isn't as common or well known as the other sea monsters in ancient mythology, <laughs> the story surrounding it is quite an intriguing tale. Number 4. The Kraken. The legendary Kraken is perhaps the biggest sea monster ever imagined by humankind. It is a mythical creature from the Nordic tall tales. This giant beast in the sea has never been seen, and its existence can therefore not be proven. Nevertheless, the monster is Wow, isn't it crazy how easy that is? It's never been seen and therefore its existence can't be proven. That's the opposite logic that the Megalodon took. The Megalodon video was like, we haven't seen it, so we can't know that it doesn't exist. It's literally just the exact flipped logic. It's crazy how that works. Number three, the largest marine reptile. The largest marine reptile ever belonged to the order known as Ichthyosauria, which translates <laughs> to fish Itch. reptile. These massive marine reptiles first appeared about 250 million years ago, they lived until 90 million years ago when they went extinct. They are believed to have grown up to 26 meters long, nearly the size of a blue whale. And although they had massive bodies, they were well adapted and specialized for life in the ocean. Yeah, no, these videos aren't of ichthyosaurs, just for the record. body outline resembled that of a dolphin and swordfish, making them fast swimmers. From their smooth, sharp teeth, it is evident that these marine reptiles were carnivores, and they certainly munched out on smaller marine reptiles such as the mosasaurs and pelosaurs. They were ferocious predators, no doubt. Pelosaurus? They also made food for sharks and other- They spell plesiosaur wrong? Predators of their time. We have a picture sent to us by a subscriber just like you. It shows a creepy and startling giant sea creature with an eye the size of a wooden lifeboat. Number two. Okay. The bloop. When scientists- The bloop. From the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, picked up a sound from the South Pacific using special hydrophones, it was the loudest sound ever recorded in the waters. The mysterious <laughs> of aquatic sound was so loud, it could be heard 4,800 kilometers away. Number Bloop. one, Megalodon. Yeah, there it, it is. It's a surprise that the Meg comes at the top of our list. No. Nope. It's one of the largest predators to have ever lived. And though it is an extinct species, it is still quite alive in people's imagination. I mean, an 18 meter long beefed up great white cousin is not something you forget about even in its extinction. The Meg Meg's so overrated. You don't want to encounter. It terrorized the ocean from 20 million years ago to about 3.6 million years ago. Its bite is said to have been so much more powerful than that of a T-Rex. The Megalodon fed mostly on larger prey like whales, sharks, and large fish. But that's not to say that it did not prey on smaller animals like dolphins. I mean, those were snacks. And had human flesh been served, they'd definitely try that as well. I'm so tired of hearing about the Megalodon. <laughs> I, I mean, okay. Sure. At least he said it was extinct. I'm just the amount of times I've heard the word megalodon over the past couple days. I'm I'm at, I'm done. I'm out of it. Give me something else. Well, fortunately, megalodons don't exist anymore. If they still did live in the ocean, we'd have gotten the message by now. Wow, well said. <laughs> Finally.